Namaste. Dear mate, I know it all began with a spark. A belief that there exists an absolute meaning waiting for us. I acknowledge that you and I are striving to break open the limits and venture out into this infinite universe. I comprehend that you aspire to create a difference. But then, often our mind and heart quarrel and time and again we feel lost. There is no concrete ideal to hold on, no ray of light to guide us, no means to integrate our dispersed energy. Never mind, I am here to introduce our commander-in-chief, a legendary warrior who is here to sculpt out our inner divinity, a surpassed commander. Here's a man with the radiance of the sun, the one who enunciates words that bring thrill through our body. Swami Vivekananda, an invincible leader for whom we had been waiting for all these days. This particular incident I would like to share from Swamiji's life, which I admire the most. It was the period when India was going through the social-religious reforms. Widow remarriage was the much debated topic of that time. And one must note here that, that the groups that argued for it and against it consisted exclusively of male members. When Swamiji was asked for his opinion on this particular issue, Swamiji said, Am I a widow that you ask me this question? Give women education. Give them the freedom to take their own decision. Rest of the thing she'll do for herself. Why do you have to suggest? This wasn't a mere reply. It was a tremendous vision of a leader, a hero among leaders. A discretion that outclassed all extreme cultural barriers to awaken the depressed mass of India. Eventually, I started to realize the inherent truth that was implicit in Swamiji's teachings. We can conclude here that the more we learn Swamiji, the more we know ourselves. Friends, it's time for us to walk following this illustrious footsteps. Let's wake up from our inertia of spiritual ignorance. We are the children of immortal bliss. That's how Swamiji calls us. Let's together learn Swamiji. We can definitely feel the resilience that builds up in us. Let's together build up resurgent India. Thank you.